Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number nine. Problems are already on the blackboard. I'm going to read them to you. If A equals 3, B equals 2, C equals 0, P equals 5, Q equals 10, and R equals 6, what are the values of these expressions? Oh, I left out one. I had one more. Number 5 I left out. Let's put number 5 here. 2 raised to B times 3 raised to A over A times Q times R. And the rest of them are A times B times Q over 2 times P, 5 times P times R over A times Q, a squared times b cubed times c times q over 3b, a cubed times b times p over a times b times p plus 1. Pause the video, solve it yourself, so not it rather, solve them yourself, and once you have the answers, you can resume the video. Don't continue watching it, you must do the work yourself. I'll give you a few seconds to pause and unpause. All right, number one. A times B times Q. A which is 3 times B which is 2 times Q which is 10 over 2 times P which is 5. Oh, this is too simple. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 goes out with this one. Answer is 6. That's it. 2 times 5 is 10. This 10 takes out that 10. If you were to divide the top and the bottom by 10, the 10s cancel out. Number 2. 5 times P times R over A times Q. 5 times P, which is 5, times R, which is 6, over A times Q. A is 3 times Q, which is 10. Now let's see what we can do here. Do you see any do you see any common factors in top and the bottom? If you do, you can divide the top and the bottom by that factor and get rid of it. For example, I see a 6 here. 6 divided by 3 is 2 and that takes out this 3. In other words, we divide the top and the bottom by 3. Let's divide top and the bottom by 5. If we divide top and the bottom by 5, that takes out this 5 and this 10 becomes 2. Once this 10 becomes 2, this 2 can cancel out with this 2. The answer is 5. That's it. That's all. The answer is 5. Let's go to number 3. Let's see what number 3 has to say. Number 3 is a nasty, nasty one. A squared times B cubed times C times Q over 3 times B. A squared, which is 3 squared, times B cubed, which is 2 cubed, times C. Oh, C is 0. Times 0. I don't have to continue. Don't have to worry about what Q is. Don't have to worry about what the bottom is. 0 times any number is 0. 0 times any number is 0. So this is 0 times anything is 0. So the whole thing is 0. Let's go to number 4. Number 4 was... Oh, blasted. Number 4 is where I had not written my expressions. I had not written it down here something because I missed I missed number 4 and I made it up as I was going along. So let's see if I can remember it. Must have been 3. Must have been A cubed times B times P over A times Oh, I remember it now. P. P plus 1. Well, listen, if I wrote something different before, then this is what I want you to evaluate. 
a cubed times b times 5 over 3 times p plus 1. Let's see what this works out to be. Well, there are two ways you can actually do that. We can, we can, we can do it out in a traditional way. Let's do it the traditional way first, which is a cubed, which is 3 cubed, times b, which is 2, times p, which is 5, over a, which is 3, times p plus 1, times p plus 1. p plus 1 is 5 plus 1. Now watch what happens. Let's get all the different colors ready. But the very first thing we should notice is this. I'm going to erase this part because I need the room. Watch what happens. Look, if you have 3 cubed for 3, you can do it like this. 3 times 3 times 3 over 3. Cancel out this 3 with this 3 and then this 3 times 3 is 9. You can do it like this, which is a very childish way. Or you can do the grown-up method. Here's the grown-up method. Watch here. 3 times 3. This 3 cube means 3 times 3 times 3. 3 being multiplied by itself 3 times. Which means you can cross out this 3 and make this power into a 2. 3 squared is exactly what we have. 3 times 3. You see, this is this. we converted this power of 3 into a 2, which means this is 3 squared. 3 squared is exactly what we have here. Let me show you one more example so you can see it. to the third over 2 is same as 2 to the second because 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2 over 2 it cancels out and 2 squared this 2 times 2 is your 2 squared you see this this power no longer is power of 3 is the power of 2 now so one way was to set it up the way we did it here another way was this a cubed times b times p over a times p plus 1 well I see a a at the bottom and I see a cube on the top I can take out this a and convert this power of 3 into a 2 so this is just a, a squared now so now this expression becomes so now this expression becomes a squared times b times p and on the bottom this a is gone so it's just p plus 1 like this that's it and this is same as this guy this guy is same as that guy a squared times b times p over p plus 1 anyway let's finish it up now so well I'm going to, again, I'm going to erase this part and I'm going to first show you the long way before I do the fancy way. The long way to solve this expression here is write 3 cubed as 3 times 3 times 3, that's 3 cubed times 2 times 5 over 3 times 6 plus 1, 5 plus 1, which is 6. And now do your cancellation. I see a 3 here and a 3 here. I see a 6 here and 3 times 2 is 6, so I can take out this 6, I can take out this 2 and they can take out this 2. And that's it, that's your answer. 3 times 5 is your answer, 15. Now, we, now we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to do the same thing without expanding everything. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. This 3 goes out with this. This becomes a power of 2. This becomes 3 squared. You understand? This is a 3 squared now, even though it doesn't, it's no longer on top of 3. But it's a 3 squared now. It's not a 3 cubed. It's a 3 squared. This is a 6. This is a 6. Well, I have to continue this thing here. Let's continue this part. This guy. Here now. So that's a 3 squared. Times 2. Times 5. This 3 is gone. Over 6. Which is the same as 3 times 3 times 2 times 5 over 6, 6 cancels out this and we left with 3 times 5. I could have continued here but I don't want to freak you out. It takes some practice, it takes some work before you become comfortable with it and you build some confidence and you can go very fast.
I could have done a lot of things very fast, but uh, then I didn't want to take a chance of losing you, so I did it out a bit more. Anyway, that was number. That was number four. Let's go to number five. We're done with that one. Huh? Number five, the very last one, which was two raised to two raised to b times three raised to a over a times q times r. Two raised to b, which is two times three raised to a, which is three over three times a is three times Q which is 10 times R which is 6. Now we have to expand everything and then simplify it, that's all. So 2 squared is 2 times 2, 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3 over 3 times 10 times 6. Let's get our colored markers so we can see what is being taken out with what. As always I'm ready with my three colors, the blue and the green and the red. Let's start with red first. I see a 6 here, and we know that 2 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6. See, 2 times 3 is 6, I can take out that 6. Similarly, I see a 3 here, let's change color. I see a 3 here and a 3 here, so that takes care of that. And I see a 10, and I see a 2. I see a 2 and I see a 10. Divide the top and the bottom by 2, uh, by two and this becomes 5. And that's it, we are left with 5 in the bottom, 3 on the top, and nothing can be done. And therefore, the answer is 3 fifth. The answer of this thing is 3 fifth. This whole quantity, this complicated quantity that you see there, simply boils down to 3 fifth or 0 0.6, if you like. That's it, we are done for today. Three fifths. What the hell? I got one fifth in my word notes here. I must have made a boo boo either in my notes here or over here somewhere. Let's find out where I mucked it up. Mucked it up with an M, okay? Not an F. M U C K. Two raised to B, which is two raised to two, times three raised to A. 3 cubed over a times q times r a times q times r. What went wrong? I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure that I get the same answer. Let's do it one more time instead of making it crowded. See that's what happens when I when you have to slow down and explain everything sometimes you lose train of your thought. Let's do it one more time. 2 squared is 2 times 2, 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, over 3 times 10 times 6. This 6 goes out with this guy. This 3 can slow this one. This will go with that one. It is 3 fifth. The answer is 3 fifth. I don't know why I have 1 fifth written in my notes. As I said, I must have made a boo boo. Which happens. I will see you tomorrow. Today was our day number 9, not 8. I always notice it towards the end. Today was our ninth day. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 10. In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me, you can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to kishwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Alright? I'll see you tomorrow.